Today, in this video, we're going to give you an update on NGF574H for hair loss. If you want to learn more about how NGF574H works for hair loss, then stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from hairguard.com. Now, just before we get into this video, we've recently put together a hair nutrition plan. You get 21 delicious recipes designed specifically for faster, stronger hair growth. The meals are loaded with nutrients like biotin, zinc, and collagen to make hair as thick and strong as possible. It's available for free if you click the link in the description and you'll get instant access to those recipes delivered to your inbox. So click the link in the description. So guys, the people behind the NGF574H are a Korean company called Selino, which simply stands for Cell Innovation. Selino is a new venture that is launched just last year by another company called Medipost. So Medipost actually did the research and development behind this product. Selino now market it, though you will see the name of Medipost on the actual bottle. Now the name of the product does look a little bit complicated, but there's actually a simple explanation behind it. NGF stands for Newborn Growth Factor. The 574 apparently stands for the number of lab trial runs that were conducted before the final formulation was chosen. And the H, well, that stands for hair. You might be scratching your head at this point, wondering what newborns could possibly have to do with hair loss. Well, I'll come to that bit in a second. But first guys, I want to describe the general kind of technology used in the development of NGF 574H. As you might know, in the field of so-called regenerative medicine, you use stem cells to treat problems in various tissues. But in the past few years, scientists have started to realize that you get therapeutic effects not just by directly using the stem cells themselves. You can also take advantage of the various chemicals produced by the stem cells. You see, stem cells secrete powerful combinations of cytokines and growth factors, and these can dramatically affect the action of surrounding cells in the tissue. This has been a major conceptual breakthrough. Rather than directly inject the stem cells into the tissue you want to regenerate, you can just inject the biochemical products of the stem cells themselves. So in other words, you make the stem cells secrete their biochemicals directly into the medium where you are culturing them. This is where the term conditioned medium comes from. You'll see this term all over the NGF574H packaging and advertising. It is literally the medium where the stem cells were cultured, and this medium has been enriched by the growth factors the stem cells secreted. As you can imagine, using the conditioned medium instead of the actual stem cells has a number of advantages. You can manufacture it, prepare it, package it, and transport it more easily, because you have no live cells to worry about. And this also means that you don't have to worry about compatibility issues between the donor of the cells and the recipient. So how could you do this for boldness? Well, Medipost, the company that developed NGF574H, took stem cells derived from umbilical cords, which explains the reference to newborns that I mentioned earlier. They then searched the scientific literature to identify molecules that are disproportionately expressed in people with androgenetic alopecia. They identified 17 of these molecules and experimented with 147 different combinations of them. The combinations were meant to subject the stem cells to a similar kind of biochemical environment as androgenetic alopecia. You basically try to recreate boldness in the petri dish and see how the stem cells respond. So they subjected the stem cells to each of these 147 combinations and based on the results of assays selected the most promising. They then found that this promised conditioned medium increased growth of hair follicles in a petri dish by up to 51%. So the test wasn't directly on the ability of this conditioned medium to kickstart dormant follicles per se, but rather to test the speed with which hair growth takes place. At any rate, the company then conducted two studies with humans. In the first study, 30 male and female patients with hair loss were treated with the conditioned medium versus placebo in a double-blind manner. After 16 weeks, the active treatment group had superior results in terms of density, with a 14.2% increase in hair counts. There was also significant differences in hair shaft diameter and hair growth rate, so the hair actually grew out at a faster rate. This first study was followed up by a larger, randomized, placebo-controlled study that recruited 89 participants with androgenetic alopecia. This study lasted for 24 weeks and was completed late last year. 
As far as we can tell, the results of this study have yet to be released. The NGF 574H is sold as a cosmetic product, a tonic, not a medication, meaning it didn't have to go through the extensive large-scale clinical trials of an alopecia medication in order to be released to the general public. It's marketed for both men and women with hair loss. It appears to be pretty safe. Potential side effects include swelling, itching, or skin rashes, presumably if you're allergic to it. The instructions state that it's to be sprayed onto problem areas and then massaged into the scalp. Application is twice daily. So, very similar to minoxidil. It is currently available for sale in Korea and Saudi Arabia through selected outlets and online vendors. But Salino also ship it to customers around the world on request. A bottle costs $99 plus the international shipping cost. And the bottle is pretty small, so this is going to be quite a pricey treatment. There is really not a lot of information available on this product, aside from the very limited data that Medipost and Salino have released. And to be honest, anecdotally, we've had hardly any feedback from members of the hair loss community who might have tried it. And as I said, though you can get it outside of Korea if you're really determined, not that many people have actually given it a shot just yet. So guys, if you have tried this, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about Will's eight stops he used to reverse hair loss and the truth about male pattern baldness, then you can click the videos on the screen now.